more than 4 billion people live across Asia. And we are telling their stories. In this edition... When glaciers are gone, there'll be no water in the streams and no farming and therefore lots of climate refugees. But one invention could help safeguard their way of life. And meet the guardians who keep people safe. What sacrifices do they make? our glaciers going away means that our lifeline is going away. They say roughly more than a billion people are affected by what happens in the ecosystem of the Himalayas. Ladakh is one of the highest cold deserts on Earth, situated in a Himalayan region known as the Roof of the World. Its villages, a series of parallel valleys, depend on water stored as glaciers on top of the mountains. For centuries, the locals lived off these lands as farmers and protected it. In Ladakh, we are on the fringes of the Tibetan Plateau. And the Tibetan Plateau is supposed to be the biggest reservoir of water after the North and the South Pole in its glacier. So it's often called the Third Pole even. So what happens to the glaciers in these mountains is very important not only for people who live here, but people downstream. Sonam Wangchuk is an engineer and educator who has dedicated his life to solving the climate change crisis in his motherland. When glaciers are gone, there'll be no water in the streams and no farming and therefore lots of climate refugees. It has already started in at least two villages that I know. People have abandoned the village because there's not enough water now. For hundreds of years, Kulum had enough water. But 10 years ago, everything changed. Kulung's main source of water has dried up, forcing many families, like Chandos, to abandon their homes. A small spring remains, but it's barely enough. 
Many of those who stayed had to give up farming and eke out a living in a small town called Upshi, five kilometers away. Urgain is one of them. She now works any daily wage job she can find. कभी कभी मैं याद कर लेते क्योंकि टेंशन नहीं होता था दिल में <laughs> जैसे कहीं भी रहो पहाड़ में रहो या कहीं खेती में रहना टेंशन नहीं होता था फार्मिंग वॉज ऑल और सो शी हैज बिन स्ट्रगलिंग टू फाइंड आउट द जॉब्स आजकल भी मैं बोल रहा हूँ मम्मी मम्मी को भी मैं बोलते थे हर रोज मैं इतना पढ़ा लिखा थोड़ा बहुत किया तो मैं थोड़ा बहुत कुछ कर सकता है कुछ पढ़ा लिखा किया नहीं तो क्या करें कुछ ना कुछ बात बोलने भी नहीं आता था ऐसे ये मुश्किल है The weather is not just getting hotter and drier it's also getting more erratic flash floods and droughts have become a common occurrence yes they have had two floods uh flash floods basically in the last decade because of which their on surface spring sources they had diminished and they had reduced to what they were uh, with respect to what they were before Nishan Tiku is a glaciologist working with Sonam to mitigate the effects of climate change in this region. Uh there's a spring source up probably about 1.92 kilometers upstream and we have tapped the source we have tried to create a reservoir up there and through the reservoir we have piped the water down. and when we pipe the water down naturally there's a head difference and the water would try to maintain its height and we sprinkle it through the top of ice stupa in cold winters it freezes the droplet starts to freeze and this kind of structure is made which resembles traditional structure of stupas or chortans the ice stupa is a kind of artificial glacier that provides melt water after winter man-made glaciers have existed in this region since the 10th century but the ice stupa has been the most effective so far it has put its inventor sonam wangchuk on the world map यहाँ स्प्रिंग तो है नहीं चश्मा नहीं है पूरा बर्फ के निर्भर रखते हैं आइस के फिर हमने भी इस साल ट्राई किए हैं ये एक एक तरीके से ये एग्रीकल्चर जो गांव वाले के लिए एक बैंग है पानी का क्योंकि यहाँ जमा करने का एक तरीका है हमें शिक्षा मिला अंकुर साहब से सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन इन 2014 Ice stupas have been replicated by many villages in this region as well as in other countries like Pakistan and Switzerland. Many people ask me, uh, have you patented it? And I say no, in fact I try and encourage and teach how to make it because it's not about keeping it close to myself, it should spread in many places. but it is not easy or cheap to make these so we are doing two things one to develop the techniques so that they are easier simpler for fewer people to make at the same time subsidize the making of it by introducing tourism in it you want to come in yes i nice scave Huh. 
Hello. So this is the center of the dome, center of the cathedral, the ice cathedral. Many young people are migrating out from the villages. So our idea is also to make village life interesting. So I wanted to catch up in many, many villages and each village takes pride in their own village life in the winter. While many youths are moving out, some have chosen to return. Like Azin, a young engineer who came back after studying in New Delhi. Namaste, Shuprabhat, Sasriyakal, Julie. So, today's news is that today in Ladakh, there has been a lot of snow in our Ladakh. So, I want to say this to everyone. I want to say this to everyone. I want to say this to everyone. हमारे ट्रेडिशन को जानिए नमस्कार तने इन आवर एरिया वी ग्रो सो मेनी वेजिटेबल्स लाइक पोटैटो लाइक सो मेनी थिंग क्योंकि हमारे एरिया जो है जो सिक्स मंथ बिल्कुल कटे फोटा है दूसरी जगह से तो हमारे इधर विंटर में कुछ नहीं मिलता है तो इसलिए the roads leading to Azin's village often gets blocked due to heavy snowfall, isolating them from the rest of the world. So farming is a necessity, and water a lifeline for Azan's village. But they too are facing shortages. मेरे पास पान के जमाने इतने बहुत ज़्यादा पानी होता है इतने टाइम। I mean पानी बिल्कुल वो हो गया, less हो गया, less हो गया। तो इसीलिए हमारे winter winter times में कुछ मतलब technique use करके store करना चाहिए जैसे कि artificial glaciers ताकि field को हो सकते। a nice stupa has been built in her village, but Azan says it's limited. At this stage, what I can say is that this has a lot of promise. Yeah? It's not a solution yet. A lot of work has to go in. But if this was to be taken as a uh, technique to refine by big institutions and specialized scientists, uh, it will very soon catch up in its simplicities. For now, Azan is doing her part to fight climate change by dedicating valuable farmland to plant trees. Is this your tree place? Yeah. Okay. Another one. So you don't want to plant vegetables here? No, because there's a lot of trees. You can't plant vegetables here. The water crisis here is not just affecting the livelihood of the locals. It's changing their way of life and threatening their cultural heritage. Hi. बहुत पुराना घर है ना जी, चार सौ से पांच सौ लग बहुत ऐसे साल का पुराना घर है जी, ऐसे हमारा ही सबसे पुराना घर यही है। पहले ये तो हम लोग यहाँ रहता था, अभी ये छोड़ के हमारा दूसरा घर बना है। Urgain was born in this house. It has seen weddings, funerals and many festivities. Siblings, cousins, nephews, grandparents all lived under one roof for generations. But as the water went away, so did many family members until Urgain and her mother was left. Two years ago, however, they gave up. It was just too difficult to maintain the house on their own. 
उसी टाइम तो हम सब पढ़ता था ना सर हम लोग यहाँ खाना भी बना लेते हैं इसमें आग चलाते हैं फिर बच्चे लोग यहाँ ऐसे बैठ लेते उसी टाइम तो हम लोग का पढ़ा लिखा तो होता नहीं है लेकिन हम लोग यहाँ सुबह शाम इधर ही बैठ लेते हैं दिन में तो सारे बकरी के पीछे चला जाते बकरी गाय उसके पीछे They were always a hardworking community, right? They still are a very hardworking community. That is why you know that even after leaving their places, they don't want to leave this place. They will still come here, still try to grow whatever they can with whatever water they have right now. But this whatever water they have right now, under the current conditions, will finish. If not in a decade, if not two decades, probably it will take five decades, but it will go. Only four families are left in Urgain's village. The ice stupa they constructed last year didn't gather and store enough water for all of them. But she is determined to stay, hopeful that this year their ice stupa would deliver more water and bring back life as she knew it. हम लोग रोज ऐसे जब से ये मंदिर बना के होते हैं ना वहीं से उसी टाइम से हम लोग दिया जला के आती है बस ये तो रोज जलाते हैं ये जैसे कि हम लोग सुबह शाम हर रोज जलाते हैं एक दिन भी नहीं छोड़ते ये से हम लोग ये गांव भी नहीं छोड़ना चाहते क्योंकि हम लोग अब ना यहाँ पैदा हुए हैं तो बिल्कुल नहीं छोड़ेंगे आपको क्या लगता है कितने साल आप यहाँ दिया जला सकेंगे अभी तो हम लोग कभी खत्म ना हो तब तक हम लोग दिया जल सकता है मैं जला सकते जैसे कि जिंदगी पूरा इसके आगे भी ये दिया तो नहीं छोड़ सकते हम हर रोज ये दिया जलाते हैं ना बचपन से ही Scientists predict that the glaciers which Urgain and a billion other people in Asia depend on will disappear in another 50 years if nothing is done to mitigate climate change. While Urgain, Asin and the others do everything they can to protect nature and keep the flame of hope alive, Sonam and his team continue their work through science and by raising awareness hoping that their ice stupas would send a message to the world and that one day the world would listen for assignment asia this is jyoti karat up next what lies beneath the tough exterior of the police force We are constantly Tujin 我说飞檐走壁的特警
第一次担任主牌手去处置一个爆炸现场，印象特别深。头盔里面只有自己的呼吸声，一步一步的走向那个中心现场，那那个过程就是一个慢动作。但是真正的走到那个爆炸物面前的时候，我必须摒除一切杂念，然后一步一步按照我们的处置预案，确保安全的把它成功的拆解掉。作为一名女特战队员，自己其实心里面肯定是非常荣幸，觉得很骄傲的。只要是你有空的，你必须把自己的身体机能维持在一个最好的状态。因为有的，尤其像你有的时候去训练，量大了之后，你第二天它的肌肉反应会是特别的大。你可能说下个楼梯你还得一瘸一拐的，再让你去做一组大量训练，你可能就会觉得哎有点排斥，有点抵触，但是还是得坚持。当你处置完一些任务的时候，你会觉得这些人他需要你，真的是在一些关键时刻需要你。小孩现在已经两岁半多一点了，我跟我老公都是警察，他就经常会说，我长大以后也要当警察。你像我们，就是一去出差，可能一个月、两个月这个样子训练啊，然后再加上集训，很长时间顾不到他，他就会很开心的跑过来喊妈妈，特别兴奋，他会过来先抱住我，就是会，哎呀，心头感觉一酸。小女儿，是噶？好冷不冷？不冷。不冷啦。小军，解救下来的人质。守护了人民的安全，是一种很大的行为。这种阳光照不到的地方，总会有黑暗的一面。特警就是把这个黑暗的一面消除掉，让阳光无处不在，让老百姓安居乐业吧。报我一定会一直坚持下去，因为就是这份使命感和责任感。只想脚踏实地的做好每一件事，然后再去迎接随时随地可能会发生的一些考验。警察是公平正义的守护者，是社会平安的守护者，是百姓乐业的守护者。我当然希望我能永远在训练场上，触警的铃声永远不会拉响。但是请大家放心，当遇到危难的时候，我们有信心、有能力战胜一切困难。我是人民警察，人民警察，袁文静。因为我叫展小波，大家都喜欢叫我展护卫，不是因为我姓展，其实更重要的是“护卫”两个字。我觉得我的职责就是护卫百姓的交通安全，我觉得这是群众对我最大的肯定。作为交警嘛，疏导交通，纠处交通违法，处理交通事故，还有一些交通安全宣传。再多一点呢，可能要有一些交通的整治，呃，比如说一些晚上的一些酒驾任务啊。熄火，车辆熄火，出关。警察，两脚分开，先对这个吹口气，看有没有喝酒，吹口气。太疯狂了，同志！主干道上倒车啊，有酒精啊！等会儿过来，我们现在进一步对你进行进行呼吸的酒精检测啊！你看为啥这么一弄，我这边大冷天的全都是汗，我那里面全都湿掉了。开江路新红路的路，那我们继续工作吧。小朋友们好，都坐坐好了，小手放哪里？还认识我吗
。平时的时候呢，经常会去我们辖区的一些幼儿园，去给他们上交通安全宣传课。孩子们都非常的可爱，然后看见我的时候都很非常的激动。警察叔叔好，我也非常的开心，能跟孩子们这样进行一些互动，教他们一些简单的交通安全知识，或者陪他们骑自行车。通过这种形式呢，就让他们能够从小就了解交通安全的一个重要性。像我每天从早上七点上班，可能回到家也晚上七点了。我们随时属于呃待命的状态。累肯定是累的，但是我认为任何一份工作都需要有一份激情，有一份热爱。只有这样子，你才能真正的热爱这份工作，然后才能在这样比较平凡的岗位上呢，做出一些呃不平凡的成绩。我们的目的只有一个，简单讲就两个字：安全。所以说，每天在路口执勤的时候，很多熟悉的朋友，呃，公交车司机也好，每天上学的小朋友，还有一些老年人都会跟我讲小站长。那么我觉得这样是非常的温暖的。群众们对我这么认可，这份期待呢，我觉得肯定是不能辜负的。每天这样子能收获一份份的温暖，呃，也是不断的推进我的工作的前进。全体的交警在节假日的时候都是忙碌在各条战线上，疏导交通，为千家的团圆奉献自己的力量。其实所有的警察都是讲的通俗一点，就是护一方平安。我们我想，我们和交通参与者之间就是一个呃一个共同体，一个朋友的关系。咱不是。看到交警来了就觉得我要来罚你款的，那么当你有困难的时候，你肯定会要想到我。谈到家人吧，我总觉得非常的愧疚，因为平时工作真的非常忙。我老婆上个礼拜就跟我说，你只有三天准时回家的。虽然他们嘴巴上这么讲，但是我老婆每天还是六点钟起床，给我烧一碗热腾腾的早饭，一碗粥。然后跟我讲啊，你先吃了再去上班，那就觉得，呃，嘴巴上抱怨，但是他内心还是非常支持的。比如说对我妻子吧，我觉得，嗯，一句话可能概括不了我对他的愧疚。呃，最想说的，老婆我爱你。<笑>交警虽然是一个平凡的职业，但是我们是城市的守护者，守护着城市的正常运行，百姓的安全出行。Follow us on social media to contribute story ideas and share your thoughts.